Yeah. Anyway, you believe in a God? Yes. Cool. Uh, Christian God, I imagine. What denomination are you? How about that? Uh, well, I'm most of my life the Church of Christ, which is a Protestant denomination. Cool. Uh, That's like the OGs, right? OG. Oh, oh, I mean, like, guard. like uh. the, the original gangsters. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, like Catholicism, Protestantism. Like, yeah. So I, I, I'm, 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 I'm on the Protestant side of, of, of the equation. It would be the best way to do it. I don't know if he's laughing at us or something. I don't know if you're laughing at us or if you're listening to something. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 So, uh, uh, is it a denomination of Protestantism that you're in, or is it just it, Protestantism it's, it's, in general? It's, it's, the, the denomination is called the Church of Christ. Cool. Where, where do you go to church at, man? Right now, I'm going to the Evangelical French Church. Oh, that's a completely different church than Protestantism. <laughs> yes. It's a, so, I live up in Rhode Island. Oh, wow. You're and, really far away. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm stationed up there with, 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 with the Navy. Got it. My um, sister's in the Navy. Oh, nice. She's just getting out, by the way. Awesome. What, yeah. what did she do? Uh, she worked as an accountant on a, a ship, okay. and she was stationed in Sasebo. Now she's moving Very to Virginia. Nice. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Really happy for her. Um, there, there are no Churches of Christ in the area where we're living. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not one of those who, my background's Church of Christ, but it's not like that's the only right church. The only, we're, we're the only ones... We're, do, we're the only ones doing it the right way and everyone else is wrong. That's just what I'm comfortable with. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Um, cool. I think that there are, when it comes to nominations in, in, in the church, people have different ways of doing things. I yeah. think there are some common core beliefs that for, that from what my reading description you have to have in order to call yourself a church. Just, and, 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 and the older I get, those number of core beliefs keep shrinking. Oh, the, wow, that's so cool. So like, what's the main core belief? I would say belief in God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Like a belief that you have to believe or that the fact that there is a God? Well, to, to, to be a Christian church, because of a Christian church, as in if I walked in your door, to, for you to call yourself a Christian church, I would, I would need to see that you believe in, in the Trinity, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, that God sent Jesus down to earth where he uh, preached and did miracles, died on the cross, Rose from the grave and now and, and now is in heaven with God. Like and like the the main core of that is the God exists. Right. Cool. And outside of that, I'm, I'm going to see that everything else that, I, that yeah, I used to. It'd be hard to find a Christian church that's like God doesn't exist. That I used to think of. <laughs> yeah. Were like essential. Yeah. As, as I read and get to know more people, I'm like, wow, those really aren't. Those are just what I like. Got a weird, silly question for you. But yeah. if it was a Christian church that was and help me out Baptist or something like that and it's like it's not about the Trinity like we don't believe in the Trinity but we believe in God and we believe in Jesus and we also know that there's a thing like a Holy Spirit but there's no official trademark Holy Trinity was that acceptable or is that a completely different thing are they doing it wrong I'm not I would need to talk with it now I first off I'm no expert I've been in the church Neither for a I. while, Neither and I. I've been reading a lot, so I'm more self-educated than anything else. I like that. Um, I would need to... S It'd be a matter of, hey, if you believe in these people, and you don't call them the Trinity, well, I call them the Trinity, but you still believe, then we're just talking semantics at that point. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So I would need to... That would be... I would probably feel uncomfortable, because <laughs> because the... Well, just simply, simply because the term yeah. Trinity has been used in the church for, for centuries, in English, centuries. In English, yeah. But like if there was... But, there are a lot of different languages. Or, or, or the, but, but that concept of the, 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 the triune God is present in like the, the, the Nicene Creed from like the 400 80s. Like, so it's so it has to be that or you're doing it wrong. See, everything is contextual. I there's not much that I would I would need to I would need I want to know where you put a line at. That's that basically like do this or you're it, or it, I would if you need believe to talk in the Trinity, you. but say we don't like calling it the Trinity, I don't think that's bad. But if you believe in God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, which now you could say the Bible doesn't really mention the Holy Spirit. Particularly, or, or the word, the term Trinity, yeah. you cannot find in the Bible, right? Yeah. That is a theological, the, uh, it's a way of theology un understanding the elements we see in, in, the, in the New Testament. Yeah, yeah. So, I, 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 I believe Would you draw the line three, at it has to be the Holy Trinity? I would. If I, if, if I had to push to shove, I would say, if you believe in Jesus and God, but not the Holy Spirit, I would be much more skeptical of what you had of, of, what, of what you were saying might have asked some weird fundamental questions yeah, yeah yeah how confident are you that a god exists very comfortable uh if we did this thing please don't steal these things i'm they're, they're not they aren't worth anything 
but Reed did a good job. If he's listening, Reed did yeah. a good job making them. But like, if this was like, ah, uh, yeah, I'm 100% confident. This is like, oh no way, I'm a zero. Like, I know that God doesn't exist. Like, where are you on this scale? Flip it out. Not, but is that like not 100%? I would say not a hundred percent because there's very little in this world that you can be a hundred percent. I'm with. trying to I'm trying to get this thing. Out. I'm right here personally. Okay. Yeah. I I'm would not say here. Right. Like I'm not like off the chart. No. I'm not off the chart. Yes. I I'm like I'm like right here. I think fifty fifty. I would probably say ninety nine percent. Ooh, you went up a little bit. Okay. I I, I believe there's always a matter of uncertainty. I like that. You can't have like. I don't have faith that this chair exists. I can see it. I can touch it. The faith is not involved. Do you need this faith chair. to believe in your God? Yes. If without faith, would you not believe in your God? That I don't even understand the question. Like you have to have. Like literally, it's a question to verify if the first answer you gave me is consistent. Okay. You need faith to believe in your God. Accurate. Yes. So without faith, are you still believing in your God? No. That's that would be the consistent answer. Okay. All right. What is faith to you? The, now, excuse me, I'm going to turn, turn to the Bible here. I know that's, you know. Romans chapter 10, blah, 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 blah. Go uh, ahead, tell well, uh, Hebrews 11. Faith, oh, that one. Okay, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. And you can always change, you can change it to yeah, anything. Yeah. But certain of things hoped for? Faith is depends being sure of what we hope for. Sure of what we hope for. And certain of what we do not see. Of what? Of hope. Yeah. And then certain of what we can't see. Yeah. Uh, and that got you to 99% confidence? My my life experience has gotten me to 99% confidence to, to define faith. So so wh where'd this definition come from? What's into the play? main thing that got you 99% confident? What's the main thing that got you that confident? What uh, method did you thing. use? to become 99% confident that God exists, your God exists? I don't know if I can point to one. What's the most, what's the most important thing? <laughs> As a method to come to a 99% certainty. Gosh, that's a life of uh, reason. I think is, is a big part of it. So reason um, and personal experience and personal experience. Hey, you, you said it for me. So experience, but the personal experience is I understand the personal experience because of the reason and because of the logic I have. I have. So I'm really interested about the reason. Okay. What do you mean by the reason? How it, reason as a method to know something to 100 percent or 99 percent certainty. What do you mean by, like, reasoning? Like, you logically put it together? Never asked this question before, so just give me I think it's good. Um, are, are, you, are you familiar with C.S. Lewis? Yes. Okay. Have you ever read Mere Christianity? Huh? Mere Christianity. Mere Christianity? Mere M-E-R-E -E Christianity. Have I read the book? Yes. No, I've not read the okay. book. In, in the book, C.S. Lewis tackles the... Tackles the I will eventually go to what it means to you and okay. not so much what okay, Lewis says. Okay. So, so what does it mean to me? Yeah. Because we can talk about other people's ideas all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know what uh, you and, believe. Uh, I understand. So much of what I believe has been, has been wrapped up, uh, understood through. So just tell me what, what that means to you. Yeah. How, what does that speak to you? Reason to me is studying, is reading scripture and the stories and the commands in there and then seeing those played out in real life and realizing that what we are commanded to do in, in Scripture makes sense and is mirrored in the experiences of daily life. That was a long explanation. Can I, can I try to yes. summarize? Sorry. So reasoning is reading something in the Bible, looking at real life for something that applies, and then going back to the Bible and being like, yep, that thing that I saw that applied to the Bible is this thing that I read in the Bible. The reason is seeing what the Bible says to do or not to do and verifying that in real life. And that is a method to get to 99% certainty about something? I wouldn't say that's like the only thing. Is it 99% reliable, that method? No. What's getting you to 99%? 
what is the method that you're doing that's making you 99% confident that a God exists? I said, you're, you're trying to get one, me- I can name you, the, the chief method has been reason. But there's also the... I would definitely say the reason the kind of thing I was talk the show in there are the chief things that have gotten me there. Are any of those methods were 99% reliable? Not any one, no. Is your confidence right now justified? I feel so, yes. I understand you can feel so, yes. but is it? I can feel like a lot of things, but like, is it? Like, can I give you an example? Yeah. I have a quarter, I flip it, catch it. I don't know if it's heads or tails. Do you know if it's heads or tails? I can feel, do you know, you know what's heads or tails? No. Okay, neither do I. I think that's the best answer. But I could be 100% confident that it's heads, but is that confidence justified? I could feel that way, but is it? Yeah. Is it? If I said, I mean, no, I don't think it is. I think the best, I can ask science, flip a thousand coins, they say, we flip the thousand, 500, 500, it's 50, 50. I'm like, I still don't know, that's inconclusive. I don't know might be the best answer for at least right now. I'm 50, 50 percent until I have better evidence Mm -hmm. to come to that conclusion. Do you have a method that's 99% reliable that justifies that confidence? No, I don't think so. That's fair. I think that's a good recognition on its own. I won't even push further than yeah, that. Yeah, and I, I do think that there is an element, and I will acknowledge this, where someone could say that it is, what's the word? That I'm being illogical. But that's where I think faith comes in. So you ask, you have to have faith to believe in God. I, I say yes. Because there Can I throw something out? Is there any question more important to you than whether or not a God exists? No. Why take an illogical approach to it? I would say it's not... Why set us... Why, why compromise for anything other than the highest, and, and best way I, to get I, and I understand. Sorry for interrupting. No, 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 no. The the illogic part, I would say, is the fact that I cannot physically lay eyes on God, see, taste, hear, smell, test, test. I, I Reason? can't physically. I can't a hundred. You know, I, I can't say, hey, there's God right there. Yeah. Can you reason? I think you can reason to a certain you I think you can reason to gosh even that's reason can only get you so far how far does it get you I would say a safe assumption I think reason can get you safely to a belief in some sort of divine being. That's about where I'm at right now. Okay. I would say further study, personal experience, and faith gets you to a specific. Can I tell you something? Yes. If I read a news, if I read a rather, if I read, it's so hard to say this. If I read a, if I. If I looked at a weather report <laughs> that said there was a 20% chance rain for today, right, and then I read another weather report that said 20% chance, does that mean there's a 40% chance of rain today? No, it's just two reports saying this. How does combining methods that aren't 100% reliable 
add to a more reliable conclusion. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Like you're taking faith that we agree reason that gets you to 50%. Is faith, if faith was also 50% or if faith is like 60%, like how does adding these things add to a more cumulative amount? Like how are you accumulating different methods that aren't reliable to come to a more reliable, 99% confident position? So what I would say is that, and is take it to take this as you will, that, that the rest of where that takes you is is faith. And maybe I would go back to my ninety percent because I you're at ninety nine. I, I was. I'll, I, us talking. Yeah. So my firm belief there is a God hasn't changed. Just thinking about are you reaching it in a reasonable way or not, or like a reliable. And way what I would say is that. To have faith, there also has to be doubt. You can't, you can't have faith in the in absence of doubt. And faith is still sure of what you're hoped for, certain of what you can't see. That's I think is a good definition for for, for me in my life. Flip that coin, got it in the back of my hand. Can I have faith that it's tails? You can have faith. Now that faith might might be broken when you when you open your hand. Okay, but I could have faith that it's tails right now, yeah. right? Could I be wrong? Yes. Could I have faith that it's heads? Yes. Could I be wrong? Yes. How does that change the odds in any way? How does it that doesn't? So you were, you're saying like, I'm generally at 50%, but with faith, I'm at 90%. So reason can get you, so reason can get you, I believe, to a belief in a supreme being, a supreme, some sort of supreme entity. Uh, Is that a reliable way to reach a conclusion? I don't know. I think that's a good answer. I can talk to me. I can talk to, to myself. So the things I see in the world and my studies and stuff have gotten me to that, you know, to that belief that there is supreme being. And then faith and other studies have gotten me to the Christian God. Um, and can faith be wrong? Yes. There's, there's always... Is it possible to study something and reach a conclusion that's not accurate? Yes. Can you be raised in a faith that's not true? Or yes. So there's what's there's making ninety percent confident. Again, that so we're, that's that unknown. I can't really just quantify it. The nebulous, what you might call the illogical personal experience. What I have experienced through my studies of scripture, yeah. through my worship, through my time going through life and praying and yeah. following yes. that I would say, and then I can't quantify it. I can't, I can't describe it. Could I have a personal experience that leads me to a wrong conclusion? Yes. And, and I could be wrong. Which is why there, there, I, I can't be 100% because... Would you want a more reliable way to reach your conclusion than the conversation that we're talking about right now at least? It depends. What are you talking about? I'm not offering anything. Yeah. It's just generally asking. Like, think about it like this. If you are 90% sure, but there was a reliable way to reach your God, but you're already at this, I'm just sure, don't, don't, I'm, I'm just sure. Are you really open to like finding that out? Yes. Okay. Only by like by 10%? Oh. You see? Like I've talked to people who are like absolutely sure in, I don't know, Pringles are better than pretzels, right? But like they don't really have, like I'm I'm so sure that I'm only open this much. But like if they had a more reliable way to reach a conclusion, I would want to be as open as possible, like to to know if it's true or not. But I I don't I think. But 90% confident, but we're using methods that aren't 90% reliable. I don't know. It's something to think about, dude. Yeah. It could be. I I'm Drew. Yeah. If you want to come back and talk to me, or if you want to take a card and, yeah. and message me about this, I'm open to this kind of conversation all the okay. time. Yeah? But maybe we, maybe, I know we're going over time, but I like to let people think about stuff like this okay. for a while. Yeah? Yeah. Think about it and come back to me. Okay. Do you have a method that's 90% reliable? Or if not, where, 
where does your confidence to the amount of evidence you have actually really do line up? And if it's even more, I want to know about it. But if it's less, maybe that's an intellectually honest position to be. And maybe it is. And uh, this let's chat card. Yeah, that's me. And I'm Dr. Wells. Nice I'm not even you. saying that <laughs> that there is I that there is a 100% reliable way. Whoa, that's I, a weird wallet. That is a weird wallet. That's I, the first time I've seen it. Did oh. I see your wallet? That's so, so that's my so the, this type of wallet is, is popular in Texas. Oh, really? Uh, this is my outfit at Texas A&M. I was, I was at the core cadets at Texas A&M, Killer K2. Okay, what's this called? It's not a trifold, bifold? It's a bifold. I'm not quite sure the type, like what that, it's not your typical just bifold yeah. like this. It's popular in Texas. Huh. So I can describe. Nice. I like it because it stays thin. Now, the downside is when I do go into like cities, I have a smaller wallet that I'll have. Yeah. Uh, but I like the fact that this, it's not this thick. Yeah. And pants like this are great because it just slides in. Nice, man. Did you enjoy the chat? I did. Cool. I, I, I do enjoy thinking through my reasoning of things. Um, in my and why opinion, and how I, I get there. And I can't imagine any more important thing to do for the beliefs that I really do care about the most. Mm -hmm. That's it. I appreciate it, man. See Enjoyed you. it. Yo, where did you get that? Oh my gosh. Oh, and now it's veggie? I don't want it anymore. Yeah.